We are the ancient ones of an ancient, ancient land. And we have been here since time began, before my time. Carryong is of great importance. That's where the old people had died, right there. Their stories and their songs, everything, their journeys started there. So you cannot get up there and talk about culture if you destroy these things. Where is the culture? Where is the dreaming? Where is the song line? You destroy everything in sight just for this. I'm sorry, I have to bring it up. Today we have corrupted mob that want to come in and destroy our sacred sites so that they can get money in their back pockets. Very, very soon it's going to be coming up for public submissions. And what that'll mean is uh, Dark and Jung Land Council are trying to change the rezoning from C2, the highest environmental protection that private land can receive, uh, to open it up to the bulldozers. And if this happens now, literally no Crown land is safe. And I don't think everyone understands that once this bit of land is built on, that's just going to open up the floodgates for lots of other land in Carryong, which we all thought was National Park, which it turns out was Crown Lane that's now being claimed, um, can be built on too. But we really, really need the land that we've got, the, especially the most highly um, sensitive, environmentally and culturally sensitive land. We need to preserve what we've got. This area is full of endangered wetlands. For the government themselves to list something as an endangered wetland and then support a private organisation, which is Dark and Jung Land Council, in just waving a magic wand and changing that rezoning uh, so the bulldozers can come in is just extremely dangerous. Unfortunately, the local Aboriginal land councils are being, in my opinion, used by the state government to open up land that they never would have had access to otherwise, never. Um, my family helped create the Dark and Jung Land Council to help create land rights for the traditional custodians, which has not worked out at all. And we've basically had all our rights taken from us and the Land Rights Act has been altered and changed over the past 30 years, to, we now now have no rights whatsoever. Because my people have been walking this land for 60,000 years. But the new kids on the block have been here for 40. 40 years. Dark and Junk Proprietary Limited. 40 years they've been here. They're a land council. They're a land developer. Pushed by the government. Dark and Junk are already the largest private landowner on the Central Coast uh, with over a thousand more land claims currently being assessed by the government. They don't need this development. They've got other huge developments in the pipeline right now. We really need to lobby our state member, Liesl Tesh, in particular state member for Gosford, Liesl Tesh. Respect to the cultural land around here. Tell your local members they've got to stop this. I'm not a land council, but listen to me, I'm a local elder. Please stop this from being destroyed, I beg you. But why develop over, over protected land, over an Aboriginal area? Cultural heritage, that land, that footprint of development is riddled with cultural heritage. And all around it is cultural heritage, all AHIMS registered your culture, your storyline, your song line, your dreaming line, all gone. Your birthing place, all gone. The mittens, all gone. And the old ones that is buried on this land, gone. Because you ploughed them all in.